I challenge you to compete in this simulated investing tournament to win some serious money. I hope you'll join us. I'll be coaching you every step of the way. Yeah, just looking at the uh, 30 year fixed rate mortgage, it's really been bouncing around. So, you know, all time high, or I should say cycle high, back on June 23rd at 5.8%, came in pretty dramatically through the first week of August, uh, down to 5%, so down 80 basis points. Uh, however, in the last, uh, last week's report, came out Thursday morning, uh, it's back up to 555. So, uh, obviously, back into you know, significant fundamental contraction territory, uh, which is consistent with all the data. Uh, fundamental data that we're seeing. You know, if we're thinking about the treasury market, the two-year uh, treasury yield just hit a new cycle high this morning. Uh, so that's at 344. That just took out the June 14th high of 343. So uh, obviously um, just continuing to grind higher there. Uh, Powell's comments uh, last week, obviously the catalyst, uh, but also completely consistent with uh, what we were expecting, which is that, you know, these guys are going to be focused and on the war path. And we've called it FOBs for a while, Fed operation break stuff. Uh, they're very committed to that. Uh, and then on the 10 year side, obviously, uh, that's been bouncing around quite a bit. And that's now bounced back to neutral trend. Uh, also, like the 30 year fixed rate mortgage, although not quite as much, up about 50 basis points in the last four weeks although the curve remains uh, very significantly inverted. So no change from a conclusion standpoint, uh, but you know, obviously the longer rates sort of remain up in this nosebleed territory, uh, the more cumulative damage that's going to be done to the housing market. And of course, that is the Fed's objective. From a macro standpoint, one of the core sort of tenets of our, our barbell framework, remember that, you know, the sort of lower income uh, end of the consumer spectrum is continuing to get squeezed by inflation outpacing um, wage inflation. So, you know, obviously people's real earnings uh, are in negative territory and have been for a long time and continue to remain so. Uh, but at the high end, it's really more uh, about the wealth effect. And, you know, this slowdown in uh, the Hamptons uh, property market is you know, clearly a reflection uh, that, you know, this confluence of significant backup in rates, um, you know, uh, a lot less certainty around uh, financial wealth, uh, i.e. what's happening uh, in the equity market, and, um, you know, a few other factors as well, sort of conspiring here, but, you know, clear, clear sign that uh, the high end is slowing down at the same time that the uh, lower income end of things is uh, getting squeezed. So the outlook on the discretionary consumption side remains, uh, in real terms, quite bleak. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.